Welcome, this is 7 Days to Die with Stone Brick and today we're going to show you a beginner's guide for Alpha 14.6 and we're just going to do a default game so we're going to jump straight into it and you'll start off straight away with um, Dear Friend, the Wasteland can be an unforgiving place so I'll let you read that yourself and basically it gives you a little uh, tutorial quest so it's asking us to uh, make a, a stone axe which is probably the best thing to make at the start so we actually are going to do that straight away so that's two stone, two grass and two bits of wood so now we've got his stone axe I can get that crafting so guys you can shift click um, things and it'll go into your hotbar and also into containers as well which we'll see later on in the game it's now asking us to make um, some clothing now we've actually started on in the uh, grasslands which is probably the best place to actually start that's wood these bits here um, is wood which is probably the best place to get the wood and we start off with but we've got enough for some clothing so what we want to do is um, guys I've actually changed my inventory to the mouse click uh, I just find it a bit easier to get in and out but for the default it will be tab uh, which I've again changed for uh, the player list so you click tab to bring up your inventory and these are the different types of things so you've got basics buildings resources ammo and weapons tools and traps food and cooking, medicine, clothing which we need and deco miscellaneous. So what we're going to do is going to get um, some fibre pants, a shirt, a hood, some shoes and gloves. To start off with we can make all this out of grass so we need one of each and we can queue up to four things at a time and you can click on here and click where. You can also click on your character this will show where you, what level you are. The wellness, so one, 100 out of 200. So you can actually increase your wellness, uh, which will also inc increase your stamina as well. Um, food, and that's how you mainly increase your wellness, but you can also increase it with vitamins as well. Uh, but you've got your food, your water here, your temperature, hence the reason why we're getting clothing, because in certain biomes, it's um, like snow, um, obviously it's going to be cold, you can go into desert and like a fire uh, land or like a wasteland which is really warm so you need the appropriate clothing um, so we have to wear them all to get his quest uh, we've got zombie kills here, uh, player kills, deaths the amount we've travelled, items we've crafted and the longest life which is 3 minutes because we've just started so now we've um, got his clothing I'm actually going to pick up these stones and get that bit of grass what I always like to do is when we start is get a tree uh, a thousand trees straight away because one thousand tree will give you 600 wood uh, that will be enough uh, to at least for the uh, first half of the day so the first I believe is five hours the first five hours you're pretty much safe from zombies but what you want to do is you do want to try and avoid them for the first day I, I try not to even kill one, try not even go near one um, for first day. So what we are going to do while we're getting this tree, is first of all I'm going to rearrange these to make it a little bit easier for us. So we need to make a wooden club. So this is like a melee weapon. I wouldn't actually use this, um, and I'm not going to use this to start with. I always go for the bow, uh, which is the next thing we need to uh, build. So we need to find some feathers and we need to uh, get some wood which we're getting. We've already got the fibres, so I got that earlier, which is the grass, this bit here. And we need to get two stones, I picked them two up here. And we can craft this bow and we need to find some feathers. Now the more feathers you make, the better your tool smith, uh, your weapon smithing goes up. And obviously the more weapons you make, again. Now your quality, you've, you'll see here, you've got an item at the beginning, uh, so in the middle, which is the quality of the item. If it's at the side, it's the quantity. So that's how many I've got. This doesn't have a quality. 
uh, but this does. So the quality affects the entity damage, the block damage, and the durability. So I've got one out of a hundred. Um, same with this. So if we're now, that's now broken, we now can make a new one. This will be level two, and this will be tool smithing. This is slightly different to weapon smithing. And if you look at this, 101 durability. So I can use it that one extra time. Um, it's a little bit more uh, damage. Um, entity damage is what you do on a player and a zombie. Block damage is obviously on a block. Um, so this has got a hell of a lot higher entity damage, even though it's quality one, than this. Because this is a tool, this is a weapon. So, so I know I'm going very basic, guys, into what this uh, beginner's guide is, but, well, it's beginner's guide, so I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. And the fact that it's been announced that it's coming to console in June, I believe. Uh, that's the date they've said. Uh, please don't hold your breath on that. Um, as the PC guys who've been playing it for a long time will uh, know not to hold breath on, on dates that the fun pimps. They're a very good team, a very small team. So I'm just getting a bit of grass by the way uh, while I look for a stone boulder because we need to get some stone. So, oh, there's a deer there. No, I haven't really got a bow and arrow to get that deer. I like to try and keep him the same area. You can press map and this will bring up where you are. So just try and stay in the same area you are because the wider out you go, the more chances you're going to run into a zombie. So you've got your crafting menu here, your character as I said, and then you've got your map. Um, you can right click to do quick waypoints or save waypoints and you can save them, name them whatever you want. And down here you can save waypoint and show a map. And you can even go here and if you save them, you can share them. Now, if we go back to the map, you can share a waypoint with either everyone on the server or just allies. So if we go to players, you can get your different players here. You click here to accept a friend and when they've accepted, uh, they'll you'll be able to show them on map and a little box here to track and you can click to track it. It'll show how far you are between each other as well. So I found some boulders over there. I'm gonna get myself a bit of stone. Not only will I get stone off these, I'll get iron as well. If you see, uh, bottom right corner will show you what you're getting, uh, what resources you're collecting. So you get some iron and you get some uh, stone as well. So these are really good to get at the beginning of the game. Well, to be honest, they're really good throughout the entire game. So guys, I've broke my axe. I need to make another one. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shift click and this will make the amount that I've got the resources for. So uh, you can also click this as well. I'm going to make this because I want to get my tools smithing up. Now, again, with the quality, the better the quality the higher the damage so this is four that's six can you see it's it's just means that I'm gonna get things done a lot quicker so now I will gather more resources off this stone uh, at a quicker rate not more but you get the same amount you just get it quicker you know what I'm about So now I've got my stone and I've got some uh, iron. I've obviously got some more plant fibres and we're pretty much good to go. And actually I'm going to get some more wood. Right guys, so I've uh, collected a bit more grass. I do need to go get some more wood and some more stone. Uh, but I also wanted to show you the fact that I've found a road. Um, I, oops. Look, look at the road. So, the best thing to do is at the beginning of the game is find a road, especially if you're in grasslands. I will always go for the look for the grasslands when I start, regardless of where I am. So we've now got us feathers. I'm just gonna move them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a chest. 
just to dump all these um, axes in. So let's get rid of some of these. See what I mean? No zombies have come because first five hours is pretty quiet. So. Again, shift clicking everything into the box. I might as well take the best one. So now I've got some feathers. I can make some arrows. I always like to keep one in my inventory so I've got everything nice and neat. While they get made, I'm going to chop this tree down. So I'll see you when I've done this. So, guys, just to let you know as well, did you see that last hit? 207. You get a bonus hit for finishing a job. So rather than just going and getting a little bit of half a tree and then going and getting half a tree and then going and getting half a tree, if you actually get the full tree down, um, you'll get the full amount that you'll get. So, like I say, 1,000 tree, you get 600. And the bonus was 207. So it's always worth finishing a job. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually look for another boulder. There must be another boulder around here somewhere. Ah, I've just picked up some cotton. You can pick that up with E like this as well. I'll just hit it uh, like so. So cotton, obviously, you can make into cloth, which will make you better... Um, use cloth for loads of different things, bandages, better clothing. Uh, this thing here is golden flour, which will let you uh, brew tea. So uh, you can uh, cook it with water and make tea, which will actually increase your wellness by 0.2. Um, again, it's always good getting that wellness up. So I'll, um, I'll see you back when I've finished getting this boulder. So I'm also going to make some... Um, Some wooden clubs, so when I make my bow, it's going to be better than quality one or quality two because I've made a, a club already. See, I've seen my first zombie. Right. So with this guy's trick, if you've not made your bow yet, go in for edge, shift, run away. Oh, and she's got me. Right, once she's on floor, get her head. Keep bashing until she's dead. There you go. So we've got a bit of food. This food here um, will give you 10 health, whereas this one will, will give you nothing. So that's my alarm. Um, so I'm going to eat this because it will get my health up. I'm actually going to eat this as well because it will get my hy hydration up. I need to drink. Oh, I'm, I'm full. So what I'm going to do is she can have that. Oh no. This is what you get when you've She will hold them. Right, let me quickly get rid of all this inventory. Now we killed his first zombie and we've got a loot which were food. Now what we also want to do is back up. We're not really bothered about the rotten flesh, but what we do want is this large bone. And if you click on recipes, we can make a bone shiv. So now when we kill something, like a deer or a pig, we'll actually get more meat and more leather by using this than what we would do is if we used this. So, might as well get rid of all this. 
crap we don't need. Let's take that one. Now this is locked. You can bash it and it'll actually break the lock off. So you can get into it. And then you have to bash it again to get rid of it. Right, so I've actually um ooh, a bit of coal. I'm gonna get a little bit of coal to make some torches. And if we do find some nitrate potassium, then we can make gunpowder. See how much quicker I'm being with my 102 axe rather than just having my two quality axe. It's a bit tedious, but it just makes life a little bit easier. And it's something to do when you've got nothing to do on a night, which we'll get to. So, between the hours of 6, uh, 6 a.m. and 10 p.m., it's nice. You can go out and zombies are like they are then, walking around. But between 10 p.m., i.e. 2,200 hours to oh, 600 hours, 6 a.m., they'll be running. I'm actually going to avoid going up there because there's a zombie. Oh, there's a zombie that way as well. Uh, thanks. First of all, right, so this main road, what we want to do is we want to either go up or down this main road, checking everything we can. But we've got some paper. Ooh, a bag. Let's see what we've got in this bag. So we've got iron reinforced. Look at that. Enter to damage free. Oh, maybe that one's better. Why is that? Oh, there's a blunt effect. Actually, I'm going to use that because there's stun damage. Oh, we've got a green top, so that's going to be better than what we're wearing. We can actually uh, scrap that. We'll go straight in there. Oh, we've got a shotgun long barrel, so we'll take that. And we'll take his glass jar. Now, on default, every 30 days, um, loot respawns. Now, it won't do because there's that in there, so we'll take that out. But now that's empty, on day 31, we'll be able to come back and there'll be some of that. Now it's every 30 days from you looting it, not 30 days and it's a full reset of everything. So get every bird nest you can because feathers, each feather will make you uh, an hour and we need as many hours as we can. Again, I want to keep one there just for tidiness. Right, now these nurses out of all the other zombies nurses are the best things because they can drop medical loot they can also drop grain alcohol which allows you to run and do things without your stamina going down as fast i'm actually just look how slow this has been i could just walk around it to be fair look see you later and move on and that's what i would recommend doing at the start apart from these Try and kill as these. Oops, and we missed. So my bow is level 37, which is better than one. So she's not dead. We'll put one to the face. Now she's dead. So we can search her and she had nothing, nothing at all. We don't need to get that, it's just habit because bones come in handy because it can be lit game can be made into glue um, along with cotton you can make duct tape haha so guys this is the first so we can craft loads of different things but this stuff like here that we can't craft because we need to learn it so we need to find like I've just found the leather somatic hood which means that I, all these things I can't make but now I can make this, because I've now learned it. So that's empty, that's empty. We've got his metal uh, iron pipe. We need two of them, because we're going to make a forge. don't think we're going to get that done in day one, though, unless we get into a forge house. Now, I would already... I'm being a little bit slow, guys, because I'm trying to explain everything I'm doing. So what I'm doing here is walking up this main road, 
and looking for a dirt path. Because a dirt path will lead to a point of interest. And each point of interest will either be some sort of water, town, or uh, isolated house. Which is always nice. Look at that zombies all the way back there. At 10 o'clock he'll be running after me and he can run pretty much as speed as I can. But they don't get tired. I do. I'm actually going to lead this zombie over here and then walk around. As long as I'm quick, I'm alright. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. Oh, is that a chicken? I think I've spotted a chicken. Which will give us a bit of meat and some feathers. Well, the thing is, it's got, oh, it's a rabbit. That will give us some meat and some leather hide but I'd rather go for this pig oh there's a piggy ooh more feathers it, ah we've got some painkillers which is nice I do pick up everything and then I'll sort it out either when I get full or when I get somewhere safe. I'm just getting as much golden rod as I can. I'm actually going to pick up some cotton as well because might as well get make some better clothing. Now this thing here is clay. Now if you make a spade, a shovel, you'll be able to get this better. Now clay guys, is these brown spots on the map, all this is clay. Now this is very very useful, you'll use clay throughout the entire game. Um, so let's just get rid of his burn shiv, get his shovel. And we, as always, you get that bonus thing when you finish a job. Like 7, 7, 26. Getting 4 at a time. And then 3. And then 26. And that's what it's. I'll just get 100 and then it is really time to go. We've, le we've left the piggy. We'll uh, concentrate on going a house first. We need to save us ammo. Aha, we have found a house, and is that a forge house? I believe it is. Pick these stones up, we've not got much stone. Ooh, a bird's nest. Yep, we've found a forge house. So the forge house, guys, is um, concrete at the bottom. It used to be cobblestone, but it's like a concrete now. Uh, lob cabin wood at the top, and like a balcony on the side. Well, eight prefab house will attract zombies more than what you would do is if you built your own house and every time you get to one there's a bunch of zombies sat waiting for you so guys I did I should have mentioned this at the start um, when you crouch and you see it's undetected a little bit like Skyrim and um, when you're detected it'll open and again if you Let's see if we can find a zombie without it harming us. Maybe not. Um, if you actually shoot it without it, you get sneak damage. Uh, I believe it's times three. That also works on hunting animals as well. So that was a, a bit harder than other one. Oh, I didn't hit his head for that. But stun damage as well, because he won't throw. So when you walk over these, they're really slow as well. Um, so I also recommend getting rid of them. It's not help when you're getting chased by a zombie and you get over these. I actually have died from many of those around me. It's getting quite late. Now these ones are really hard to hit because they're... It's getting 
get headshot, the hit. Well, shake the head. The hitbox is so uh, small compared to the ones that are stood up. It seems that way anyway. Ah, oh, I must have already killed him. Ooh, a mining helmet. Excellent. So we can wear this. Um, let's scrap that. And now if you press F guys, we've got a light. This is very handy. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this my home. So first of all guys, um, I'm going to secure it up, I'm going to quickly go into the fridge and I'm going to dump everything that I don't need, anything smelly as well that we've got, don't need these at the moment, that'll give us enough room for now, right, so if you didn't get any clay guys and you've not got much stone, you can go and make wooden frames and we need to make three of them anyway for our task I also recommend picking these up these burn but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into buildings I'm going to go over to come on I feel like we haven't got much time. Right, so buildings. Where is it? Cobblestone frames. Ah, there. So I'm going to make ten. So I'm going to fill the all oh, this up. Now, there's a bookcase there, which means that there's going to be knowledge. But if you look at your skills, which I'll get into more when we're more safe, um, I want to. You know what, there's a zombie. I'm going to kill him now before it gets to 10 o'clock. Because at 10 o'clock he'll be running around and it'll be hard for me to kill. Right, maybe the... I don't know where he is, but I'm going to get some more stone. Oh, they're building. Get some more stone. And, and I also need to make some cobblestone. That's not going to be enough. I need. I need my stone. So you'll need ten cobblestones to fill one frame. Oh, look at that! I already had one. So I'm pushing it, big guys. Like I say, you can make wooden frames, it is a lot quicker. Um, obviously, they're not as strong. They're not going to bother you. I just I don't want to do it after upgrade them. Um, at the moment, you can't upgrade to cobblestone. It goes past it and you have to go to concrete. So, guys... Get some last grass. Right, so let's get first of all let's fill this up. Now we can't open that door guys because that door's not ours. As I mentioned it's locked. And what I'm gonna do is I can chop this down, make his own door, and we can lock it itself and open it. But I'm not going to leave the door down here because zombies are attracted to doors and there's a door up there. I want only one door so then I've only got one place I need to fight them. Oh, in theory they should be attracted to. I haven't made enough. Um, I need to make another two cobblestone frames. Oh, and it's gone to 10 o'clock. So if you right click guys, 
you will um, upgrade these frames into cobblestone blocks. Right guys, so we've um, we've finally secured downstairs. Um, I, again, I haven't looted anything yet. Uh, what you can do is you can also take these stairs out. Say you didn't have time to, you got here late, you didn't have time to do that, you didn't have enough resources. Um, take these stairs out, and if you get one zombie, you shouldn't be able to jump up here. It can. But it'll take him a little while. It'll take him a few attempts. Um, if there's loads of them, they'll easily get up here. But it gives you enough time to try and kill them without them getting to you. Um, so obviously there's a door here, and there's some stairs. So that's not our door. Let's actually make a door. So in his basic secure door, and. Door, we can put ours up. I always like to do it that way because that way, then the zombies can only bash on these and here. Whereas if it's the other way, they can bash some zombies can get in here and bash, and the other zombies can bash here, and this will go down so much quicker. So I always do it that way. Um, I'm gonna make a chest. So we've done all that. I'm gonna take all my stuff. Oops. So I put all my stuff away, I can come sort that in a moment. Uh, what I do when I do is get rid of this. Because every time you walk over it makes a noise. And it just tidies the place up. You can get rid of this, that'll uh, give you one curl. Or no, it'll give you three curl. I'm going to leave it because I've got some curl and I like it, it looks good. Uh, this is your forge, uh, what I was going to build earlier. I've put the building materials in here which I can uh, burn. In fact it wants me to... Um, I'm going to get rid of these, but for just for now, let's just upgrade them. And like I say, we've got, we've got a toilet in here as well, but with the skills, before I do loot the place, I'm just going to quickly go through the skills. So we've got different skills that we can go uh, through. Um, every time you level up, you'll get five points. Uh, when you've done this quest that we're doing, you'll get a point. So, in fact, let's go make a bed row. Oh, we've got no glass. I'm going to sneak out, guys. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. You can wait till tomorrow and get some. On day one, you'll only get one or two um, zombies anyway. These stairs are horrible. So I can make my bed well. So while that's getting made, different skills, you'll get five points. Every time you do a quest, you get a point. Uh, there's certain quests you can do in time limits, and you'll get a bonus point if you do it within the time limit. Um, your quest will be shown here. So we've made this. Bedwell, we can now put his bedwell down. 
this is exactly like Minecraft guys if you've played Minecraft uh, the only thing is you can't sleep through the night it's there for your spawn point and your spawn point only this gets destroyed you get spawned somewhere randomly when you die you get the choice of spawning on your bedroll or nearby your bedroll um, so just quickly going to the d different skills when you do make buy your skill I always recommend saving up and getting sexual Tyrannosaurus because this um, we gain stamina faster with every rank you use stamina for everything built you know building fighting running etc um, you've also got skills as uh, so scavenging a quality Joe as well which adds 25 50 or 100 quality onto each item you find um, definitely recommend getting that uh, you can get that on get level one straight away level two requires you getting quality your scavenging level 30 and quality uh, three will be scavenging 60 so every time your scavenging goes up the better chance of loot so I always go for the poor things first so it's these cupboards you don't get much in cupboards you'll get like glass jars I've just found maybe some empty jar, empty tins which when we've not got a cooking pot are used to fill up and drink because you need a cooking pot to drink, uh, you fill these up with murky water, get a cooking pot uh, to make it clean but you need a cooking pot whereas these dog I've got a zombie outside so I'm going to sneak down and be quiet actually having the forge uh, will when you have the forge on that uh, everything creates a heat map everything you do going in uh, containers making fires going into the forge obviously each one will create a more heat than others uh, the bigger heat you've got these more zombies you have the forge when that's running will uh, attract zombies, uh, screamer zombies, they actually look like the girl from the ring uh, to come uh, to your house and they scream a whore down and they attract more zombies so when they, when she does come first thing you want to do is kill her before you kill anyone else because she'll just keep um, summoning more zombies until she's dead um, so we found some antibiotics in the medicine and some vitamins so when you get hit you can get stunned which means you're not going to be able to move a lot um, which I got earlier and uh, you can get infected if you get infected you can actually use these to cure the infection because if you don't cure the infection either with antibiotics or honey you will f die uh, within three in game days now on default each day is 50 minutes so you're looking at you're short of three hours. Well, two and a half hours. There's that zombie out there, right? So I'm going to actually uh, go in the bookcase now. And uh, we had nothing. Oh, the vitamins actually give you half a wellness. So we're going to take that. So that works uh, until we get another half. There's also a, a wooden desk here as well. Oh, I've got some boots. I've oh, not got enough wood. And there's that zombie outside. So what shall we? Uh, I'm gonna go get some uh, stone, and you can see what the zombie looks like outside. Ah, oh, it's a big ass, big guy. And see, he's running. No, I don't think so. Get my composure back. Oh, and he misses! Oh, he misses again. Uh, he might die here. Yeah. Oh, that were close, guys. That were very close. Yeah, you don't need to do that. You could have just waited till morning. Ooh, I don't want to make 89 doors. I want to make one door. 
See how quick he got through that door. So this time what we're going to do, we're going to put his door on. I'm going to right click and upgrade his door, more wood. Right click again, 10 iron. And I need forest iron, which I don't have. Uh, I need to make that in the um, in the forged. Right, I need I need some stone. We were stone bald around here, weren't we? Oh, I already got it. That's why it's not there. See, I've got enough now to uh, go make my fire. In fact, yeah, I'm just going to keep getting it. Getting stone, so I can make some stone hatches until morning. I've got some coal back next to his house, that's nice, and another tree. Right, so now make the fire. That'll uh, eight stone you need for your fire, and I believe that is the end of our quest. So we've um, completed the basic survival quest, and that is granted us one point. So I've earned a skill point, which we can spend in here. What I want to do is wait till I um, level up again which will get us 11 points and then I can get my sexual Tronosaurus. So let's have a look what we've got. Let's put everything away that I'm not going to use. In fact we're going to use that. So I need to go get some more clay. I've got some more stone there. That's nice. Um, I'm going to use that as well. What we can do is we can make another chest. And that can be for dumping our stone axes. So these chests will hold 72. 72 items. Uh, uh, but I couldn't make 72. Stone axes, unfortunately. So, what we've we got here um, this can be scrapped or melted straight into the forge. Um, again, this can be scrapped. So, again, I'll show you that'll go into iron, that'll go into lead. And these are used for burning materials. It'll burn for 1 minute and 20 seconds. Uh, we need another iron pipe. We can even scrap that, should we wish to. That'll get us free scrap iron. For a short on iron, we can use that for, for now. Uh, that'll burn as well. That's for his tea. And we've got antibiotics and we've got some eggs. So we need to go hunt down some meat so we can make some bacon and eggs. So it's probably the best thing to uh, make to start with. But you need a cooking pot. Uh, we can make that with um, the forge downstairs. If you didn't get a forge, then obviously you can just make grilled meat. Uh, 
not grilled meat, the other one. Charred grilled meat or whatever it's called. So that's pretty much it for day one. Uh, I'm just going to f finish doing this and I'll uh, catch you in day two. Um, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Catch you in day two guys. Thanks for watching people. This has been Stone Drick. So please comment and let me know what your thoughts are on the video by hitting that like or dislike button. And if you did like the video, then why not subscribe? And also come and say hi on Twitch, which I try and stream as much as I can. All the details are below. Thanks again, and happy gaming.